Hello everybody, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. How are you doing? How are you all doing? Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, good day. Can you hear me? Right. Let me see who can hear me first. Who can hear me first? Raise up your hand if you can see me, if you can hear me. Say yes. If you can hear me, say yes. Say yes if you can hear me. Say yes if you can hear me. Say yes. Who is going to do that first? Oh, Mr. Centello. You got it. Mr. Centello got there. Excellent. Great. Oh, Nabil, you you, you matched it. Nabil, Nabil, how are you? How are you, Nabil? Great stuff. Okay, and tell me, yeah. Right, I see that headphone. I like that headphone. <laughs> oh my goodness. Franz Kruger, how you doing? Takalani, Collins, Mika, Horizon, Harvest, Nabil. Gold medal, uh, Murphy, Felix, great stuff. Wow, so is it loud and clear from the head office, from the headquarters? <laughs> How are you guys today? How is everybody? Yeah, good, 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 good. Let's see who's here today. Let's see who is here today. All right. Let's see who is here today. Nabil. Nabil, is this your first time? Nabil, is that your first time? Thank you. You're good. Yes, 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 yes. I can see. All right. Oh, Kalad. Kalad. How are you, Kalad? You all right? Good stuff. Okay. Ntemi. Hello. How are you? I salute. Let me give you uh let me give you something back. Uh let's give you something back. Let's see what we're gonna get you back. Uh where are all these faces? Where are these people? One, two, you got big one there. You got big one there. Right, excellent, excellent. Great stuff. Okay, excellent. Nabil, Aji Loro, Joseph, Khalid. How's everybody doing? Okay, great stuff. Okay, right. Ivan, hello. Prince, Prince Ihagoro, is that your first time, Prince? Yes, Nabil, yes, I know. It's your first time. Yeah, I, can, I know that. <laughs> Uh, people will guess, how do you know that? No, no, no. When you have your heart in something, when you put your 100% into something, you know, sometimes it's, uh, it's come to you naturally, you know. <laughs> Prince, Ihegoro, Prince, yes. It's your first time as well, Prince, right? <laughs> Tom, Pollock, we have a new, we have a lot of new people today. Tom, is that your first time as well? Is that your first time? No, we, we use a lot of strategies, you know. Um, you, have you been to my website? You, you've been to the YouTube channel. So you go on the YouTube channel. I'm sure you could see uh, quite a lot of, um, quite a lot of uh, uh, strategies on the YouTube channel. Yes, successful strategies. In fact, there's one called double, double, D mark, uh, double mark D strategy, double mark D. Double Mark D strategy. If you look at that strategy, it was something that won a competition, a forest competition, and it was a it was a co competition uh, organized by one of the biggest broker. And as you know, that thousands of traders they will enter the competition, and then the winner sometimes they ask them their strategy to describe their strategy. So I got in church and I got this strategy and I describe it at length on my YouTube channel. 
and you can go there and check out all the comments you see a lot of people have made tons of money on it so uh tom yeah your answer is that yes there are a lot of uh different strategies that we use so today we are going to focus on the simple breakout <laughs> so, yeah yeah prince i got that yes yeah, i see i see i got that that uh, you're first timer okay oh i'm telling you there's a lot of new people today Offensi, are you new as well? Yeah, Offensi is a new person today. Let, let, let me not jump to conclusion. Let him confirm. Are you new today? Is this your first time? Is this your first time? Right. Good stuff. Good stuff. I see a lot of new faces here. All right. Because we have a lot of new faces. Thank you so much. Gold medal. You're welcome. All right, thank you, Offensi. Thank you, thank you. So now let us identify where we are coming from today. Which country are you joining us from today? Because we have a lot of new people, so let's refresh. Let us refresh the community. <laughs> let us bring the community alive. Who is coming from where? I know where some of you are coming from, but I, know, I don't know where many other are coming from today. So where are you from today? Can we can we get it rolling? All right. All right. All right, France, Johannes, you are welcome from France. Thank you for joining today. Okay, so offensive you've been with me for 2 weeks. Your SBS is winning. I'm even your. Thank you so much. Hello, Miss Alex. Felix UK. Felix, even. Yeah, I know. Michael from Gombe, Nigeria. Yes, Johannes from France. Oh, we got someone from New Zealand today. Ah, Hamogenes. Welcome today. Good to see you. Affair. Okay, Telegram channel, right? Uh, I like to come try and figure that out for you. All right, let's see that. Okay, I'll figure that out for you very soon. Okay, so who's there again? Who is there again? So we got uh, Aliyu. Okay, Aliyu, is that your first time, Aliyu? NFK, okay, <laughs> okay, Carabolans from oh Nessie Mandela, Nessie Mandela, <laughs> ah, from East Cape, Eastern Cape, right? Yeah, good, good, good. The Gambia, the the Great Gambia, the Great Gambia. Okay, so Cloudu from Canada. The North Americans. I, I, I wish I have the American or North American accent. <laughs> but this one is okay. Everybody can hear me, right? Okay. Kampala, Uganda. All right. That's great. Great. We are all from different places today. Excellent. I'm glad you can join me today because you're going to see something special today. We're going to talk about the special strategy we have been working on. We've been working on this strategy now for a few weeks now. And the majority of you here, you have been with us. And you know what the strategy is all about. So fantastic that you are able to join me. I'm so glad I, I welcome you. Thank you so much. So we are going to go into that very shortly. So we're going to go into the detail very shortly, okay? So for all of you, let me post you the Telegram channel. That is the Telegram channel. And I want you to go there now and uh, and join. Hold on, that's not that one. Uh, hang on. So we're looking for the telegram channel which is this one here so we are going to copy that one and send it to you guys
Okay, excellent. There we go. There we go. All right, so I want you to click the Telegram channel very quickly and uh, join it quickly because you are going to continue the discussion on that channel, on that uh, group, Telegram group. So click it and uh, join the group. All right, Claudio, you, you're welcome. <laughs> Thank you for recognizing my accent. Oh yeah, you know what? I've I've got a lot of uh, experience and um, a lot of things to talk about accent. So it's very interesting. I love I love a lot of accent from different countries. So excellent. So thank you so much, everybody, for joining us today. Our team has been growing tremendously, tremendously. So people have been joining us in in large numbers. I mean, you see that Telegram channel. If you click that Telegram channel, you see the number that is there right now. Uh, we started about two or three weeks ago, maybe three weeks ago. Now we are growing to nearly 300. I'm sure tonight, before the end of tonight, you are going to push that number up way more than 300. Because I know a lot of you have said here that uh, you want to get that number to thousands. Mm -hmm. <laughs> can we do it <laughs> can i hear somebody say can we do it can we get there yeah can we get there on the winning trade excellent augustine trading all right ham you are welcome good to see you all excellent so can we get to 1000 subscribers can we get to a thousand subscriber on the channel on the um telegram channel yes 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 okay gold medal from portacourt excellent good to see you all right so let's go into the trading now okay we are going to declare the shop open all right we are declaring the shop open now right good stuff okay so, yes, we can. Yes, we can. Excellent. Yes, we can. <laughs> Hello, Ham. <laughs> ah, you're from Fiji. I love Fiji. You know, you know what I love about Fiji? I love uh, a lot of uh, rugby. You know, Fijians. They're very good rug rugby player. They're very strong. They give tough time to countries like United Kingdom, Australia, New Zealand. When it comes to rugby, so Fiji, very strong country. I like it. I like it. Excellent. Okay. Yes, we can. Aji Lori. Well, yes, we can. Avon. Yes, 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 yes. Excellent. Okay. Let us move on now. So let's look into here. So let's start today with uh, Euro USD analysis. Okay. Let us start with Euro USD analysis. Okay, so this is Euro dollar and that is five minute chart. Okay, this is five minute chart. Omar, you're welcome. Alisa, sir, you're welcome. All right, so it's five minute chart. So, what we are looking for, you see, this box here is drawn for us automatically. Okay, let me tell you something about trading you got to understand what you are doing. Okay. Uh, if it is so easy to just plug in something and uh, it makes money for you while you are sleeping, you might as well guess that millions of people by now will be retired at the age of 15, at the age of 16. If it's that easy, just plug in something and there you go, you go make money. You got to put the hard work in. You got to understand the process. You got to understand the chart. You got to be able to read the chart and see what is going on. So now let us see this euro dollar here. Okay, this is euro dollar. Look at the story of euro dollar today. Let's talk about the story first. Okay, so euro dollar, we see this box was drawn for us. This is seven to eight box. Welcome, Prisama from India. Good to see you. Gold medal, good to see you. Right, so. You see, this box is drawn for us between the hour of 9 and 10 if you use IC market. 
but if you use any other broker you need to find what is seven to eight gmt is and then put that on your indicator okay so we use indicator called uh sessions okay this is the sessions indicator and then uh, we add that indicator to the chart you look into the property of the indicator let's see what the time is here so if you have the same indicator you put the time here uh look at that okay so it's the different yes you are correct because i was testing something earlier so i need to put the correct time the correct time is nine to ten okay I think it was uh, Flanders, you know, we were, we were practicing with uh, two to three last uh, meeting. So it's still there up to now. So I'm just changing it for the first time. <laughs> Great stuff. Okay, so let's put it in the right place. Okay, so there we go. I think this is where it is today. Okay. So confirm it. Everybody confirm it if your, yours is looking like this today, right? If this is your chart today, say yes, this is my chart today. Say yes, 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 this is my chart. So if you are still on Telegram channel, you haven't joined this, this um, YouTube yet, you must join now because you are going to learn a lot from here, okay? You're going to learn a lot from here. This is where we review different charts. We put in gold, we put in silver, we put in... Uh, uh, South African round, we put it, we can put it even Chinese one <laughs> or Russian rubles, anything, anything goes here. This is a free, free hand here, okay? Right, so thank you so much for that. Uh, Flanders, you are correct. It was initially at two to three, okay? Good, good. You know, last week I gave some people some, um, I upgraded some people. So I think Flanders, I upgraded him to what? to veteran okay so let's see whether people will come to join veteran level today all right so great stuff people so now let's see what we got here so now the story of today is that we got our box drawn at seven to eight gmt we see some initial initial breakout which is called a false breakout you see uh, this price tends to want to break out, but it was a false breakout. But we will see whether it's false or not. We're going to check it out. But eventually, we, they decided to go bullish. And since then, we remain bullish. Okay, so let's do the proper analysis now. So I'm going to expand this so that you can see it. So I'm going to expand it. All right, so this is the box. All right, let's do the justice. So let's do the justice. Oh, we can use this. We can use this line again. This was a former line we draw when we did our last presentation, and that should be last Friday. <laughs> so it's a, it's a, it's a different day today. All right, I'm talking now to all the experience and uh, even new people that are joining. Okay, right. Now we're going to find our trigger box, or let's say our trigger candle okay right the question that i'm going to ask you first is these candles here do we have a trade in this region here yeah do we have a trade here at all is there any signal here any signal here if there is say yes if there is no signal say no okay <laughs> right yeah yeah you agree with me that's true that's true if there is this a good robot which trades for you and it's like everyone in the world will be having by now i mean it's uh it's very simple uh it's, it's very simple thinking if somebody discover uh, uh a powerful something that makes money 100 percent of the time and win and uh, never lose you know, I think by now that person should not actually be here. That person should be way somewhere in uh, Banana Island enjoying their holidays. Okay. But you know what? We are here to do the hard work. Uh, we know that the hard work pays off. Uh, we've seen people that do hard work in life. At the end of the day, they have something to show for it. So, guys, let us choose to, to work hard. And um, you know what? You have something to show for it. 
Okay, so now, ladies and gentlemen, there's no trade here. Excellent. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. There's no trade here. Uh, Prince, don't worry, Prince. Relax, okay? <laughs> relax. We're going to show it how it works for you. Don't worry. Uh, we're going to do it in a uh, more subtle way in the next uh, 5, 10, or 10 minutes or so. But the first one, we want to give our guys... Um, we want to give them the hardcore first. The hardcore, hardcore. <laughs> so now we know there's no trade here. I will explain to you later on uh, why there's no trade. But for my for my veterans and the uh, upcoming veterans, okay. So now let's fingers on the buzzer, please. Fingers on the buzzer, okay. So let me zoom in. Let me zoom in more, okay? Fingers on the buzzer. Hey, this is close, isn't it? <laughs> this is very close, man. Okay, right. So let me give you the numbers. Let me give you the numbers. So this is number one. This candle here is number one. This candle here is number two. And this candle is number three. Which is our trigger candle? One, two, or three? Fingers on the buzzer, please. So we are in a training class. So you got to do the homework. You know when you are in uh, school, your teacher says, Oh, you got to do the homework. So ladies and gentlemen, you got to put the homework in. You got to do the homework, please. <laughs> You got to do the homework. All right. So, Sekela. Ah, Sekela, you said two, right? Jennifer, three. Tom, three. Flanders, three. France, two. Ham, three. Sekela, three. Johannes, three. Akin, three. Claudio, three. Alessosa, three. Yvonne, three. Felix, three. Okay. Uh, you just managed to book a session indicator and when the box appear on our time frame and went ahead and draw the two horizontal line then i switch to five minutes but realize that the box okay so yes you can go the hard way if you don't have a box you can draw it manually with your hands on a one hour time frame and then come back to five minutes but if you have the box you know just let the box draw it for you uh the, but you are going to make the judgment of whether you are going to trade or not so for now you are making the judgment of whether to trade or not based on certain conditions okay excellent now if you tell me your answer is number one you are completely wrong <laughs> if you tell me your answer is number two hmm I will reserve the judgment if you say your answer is number three Hmm, I will reserve the judgment. But let us see why, whether it is two and three. In fact, if you tell me two or three, I wouldn't complain. I would say, yes, you are right. Because there is something that is amiss here. There is something that is not clear. There is a kind of, a, 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 some kind of cover that is not showing its true color. And this is it. This candle here, Looking at it, it looks like it's very close to the line. We are not sure if it's touching or not. And you remember the, the principle? If you are not sure, just leave it. Don't assume that it's touching. If you are not sure that it's touching, just leave it. Although you can check it in the data window, whether it's touching or not. But when it's just too close. You know, it's like they say something is too good to be true. Usually, it is not true. So, when it's too good and it's too close, just ignore it. So, for today, for the benefit of uh, having to declare uh, uh, one winner or thereabouts, I will say I will go for three today. Okay? If you said two, you are correct. Because if it's not touching, it looks like it's not touching, but I'm just, I'm just choosing three. Because I, I prefer safety. I want to be 100% sure of what I'm doing. Rather than trying to go early and missing, missing the point. Okay, so 
Let's give it to number three today. Hello, number three got it. Number three got it. <laughs> oh, great, 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 great. Okay, so let's see that. Okay, so now we know that we don't have a trade here, and we know we have given the we accolade. We have given the accolade to number three, so it means that we are entering the market from here. So our trigger point is from here. So I'm going to change this one to a, I'm going to change this one to a dash line. Okay. All right. If you are new, don't worry. I'm going to explain a little bit more, but for the first one, we just go with the flow. Just go with the flow. Have it, have it, have a flair with it. You know, have a dance. <laughs> Have a have a have a jolly ride first, then we we'll come down. We we'll come down to to explain it more. Okay, so this is our buy position, and we always know that when we buy here, our stop loss is this line here, and then our take profit is the size of the box. So today the size of the box is. 14.7, 14.5, 6 or 14 or 15. Let's round it up to 15 pips. Hurrah! We got 15 pips today. Good. Welcome everybody to the live session. This is Simple Breakout Strategy calling you from the head office, from the headquarters. <laughs> All right. Just joking. Just joking. Take it easy. <laughs> All right. So, ladies and gentlemen. So now we enter our buy position from here. We set our take profit as 15 pips. And the question now is we need to check if we hit our take profit target. So let's measure. Okay. From here we are looking for 15 pips. We are going to measure that. Do we have 15 pips? Oh, sure we did. Actually, we got up to 20 pips. 20 pips, 20 pips, 20 pips. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you have traded Euro dollar today, congratulations, because not all the pairs today work as good as this Euro dollar. Okay? So, we know that it's not always going to be 100% uh, uh, success. We know that. There's no, no, there's no dispute about that. But the good news is that we know what we are doing. You know, we are not lost. We know when we when the trade didn't go our way, we're not saying, oh, I'm going to ditch the strategy. Oh, ah, the strategy is horrible. It doesn't work. Oh, I'm going to go for another thing. No, 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 no. You know, it is part of the game. All right. Welcome to the real world, people. Simple breakout strategy. Welcome to the real world. This is where people actually uh, grind themselves and understand the working of a strategy so you know there are hundreds of strategies out there i mean i'm a living example go to my channel uh you can see quite a lot of strategies but you know to you need to understand that strategy the inner working you know you they said some of the best traders in the world some of them don't use any indicator right <laughs> why is that why they don't use indicator because they are in tune, they are in tune with the market. They are really, really, really understanding what they are doing. You know, they look at the chart, they can tell you where the support line is, where the resistance line is, where the double double top, double bottom is. You see, they can see where the retracement might likely be. And that's why they call them experienced trader. That's why it is not just you starting today and uh, not want to put in the shift you got to put in the shift you know we all know that we all know that even when we, when we talk to the kids we say oh no no you must have to you have to put the hard work in all right ladies and gentlemen so if you traded today euro dollar i think you've done well because there are some peers today that hasn't gone very well and there are a lot of reasons for that today is a public holiday in the u.s it's a public holiday in the UK. And what does that mean to Forex? Ladies and gentlemen, what does that mean to Forex? 70% <laughs> of the volume is, is asleep. <laughs> but the good thing is that Forex doesn't sleep, actually. You know, whether the UK is on holiday or the US is on holiday, Forex continues. 
the only thing we are not going to get is that we are not going to get the fuel, the petrol, the diesel to fire the car. We're not going to get the fuel to fire the engine of Forex. The engine of Forex is fired by news. And the news are primarily from the US and from Europe. So when US is off and Europe is off, we have less news coming through. And that means the volume might be smaller. Okay? Good stuff. All right. I need to remember to plug my battery. <laughs> All right. We done that. We done that. We done that. Ladies and gentlemen. So. So Euro dollar was good. Okay. Any, any question? Any question? Any question? Anybody? 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 Any question? Any question? Ham. Okay. How is it? The box doesn't change time based time zone. No, it doesn't change. You have to change it yourself manually. Yes, yes. You have to change it manually. Uh, Fibo extensions. No, no, I'm not talking of Fibo extension yet, but we can talk about that. I got a strategy for that. Go to the YouTube channel. You can see uh, how to use a Fibo extension or even Fibo retracement. Yes, so USD card not good today. Not only USD card, there are a few ones. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> high speed, low quality, low yeah, yeah, high speed, yeah, too. Low liquidity, yes, because few um, hidden agendas. Some may have few hidden agendas to push the price, okay? Okay, okay. Okay, so right, so let's go on, let's move on. Okay, so now for the people that are coming for the first time, this is your time. So for if you are here for the first time and listen to this strategy for the first time, this is your time. No, 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 you're not late. Your health, your wealth, you are welcome, you're not late. Uh summit, welcome, welcome, summit. Time Johannes. Okay, what time should the session box have? If I am using IC market and life in France, it's the same nine to ten, guaranteed. Johannes, just put it nine to ten, nine a.m. to ten a.m. Johannes, that's your answer there. That is your answer there. <laughs> okay, so for new people, this is your time. So we're gonna switch to another another chart. So we're gonna switch to USD, switch francs. Okay, so I'm gonna slow down. So, uh veterans pardon us okay so we're going to slow down a little bit Vet veterans pardon us we're going to take a little time to explain here for the new people so please and please and please help help your fellow human being eh? <laughs> hello die hard how are you how are you you doing good excellent okay all right i want to dial down my my speed now i want to reduce my speed okay so i'm slowing down my speed okay all right for new people this is how it work all right so this box is drawn between the hour of seven and eight a.m gmt okay so let me show you what i mean so i go to data window here so if you look at here look at the first candle here and look at data window that's nine o'clock nine zero zero look at the next is nine oh five look at the next nine ten nine fifteen on and on and on and on and on and on and on to the last candle which is ten zero zero so you're looking at nine to ten a.m in the morning so if you are ic market you want is ic market nine to ten anywhere nine to ten ic market so uh, if you are with other uh, brokers, try to find what is the equivalent of 7 to 8 GMT and you put that time in your indicator. Okay. So now you have successfully, this, this box will be drawn for you anyway by the indicator if you put the right time. Now you got to draw these two lines. One at the top of the box, one at the bottom of the box. And that is when your work starts. So now you know after the box, this is the next candle that is formed. So as each candle are formed, you are waiting for 
your trigger candle okay so the trigger candle is the first candle that formed outside of the box completely outside of the box and it's not touching it at all the the candle is found outside of the box and it's not touching it it can be below this lower line or if we are uptrend it can be above but wherever it is it must not be inside it must be outside and it must not be touching the line okay so that is your work to do to find that candle it is not difficult to find that candle okay it's very easy to find the candle uh, and this also uh, the data window will also help you to find the candle how will he help you so if you are in doubt whether it has crossed or it touched or it doesn't touch you put your candle or your 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 mouse on the candle that you are not sure of and look at the price either you want to look at the high or the open or the close or the low and compare it to the line and see oh has it crossed or has it not crossed okay now i'm going to give you the answer to this one because i'm explaining but the next one you're going to do it yourself okay so like this is the first candle that we really okay now let's first of all analyze this area okay we see this candle try to come out of the box but we see it didn't successfully come out of the box it's still inside the box so this one is completely inside so we ignore that we ignore that the next bearish candle also pop out of the box but part of it is still inside the box so it doesn't qualify the next one also do the same thing it came out of the box but it went back inside the box so it's still touching so you you are still waiting yeah so this is eight, eight, uh, nine, uh, this is uh, eight o'clock GMT so you are, you are still waiting you are still waiting you are still waiting you are still waiting nothing nothing yet and then here we go we have this box here uh, this candle here try to break again but part of it is still inside so that is not your candle now let's see this little gentleman here this is inverted hammer candle here inverted hammer ladies and gentlemen what happened to him let me zoom in let me click this is zooming in when you click the box uh, the plus sign it's zooming for you so let me zoom in so you can see properly okay this was the candle we were talking about before so this one touches so it doesn't qualify but let's see this inverted armor this is this little guy here this little 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 candle here it's completely outside the box as you can see it's not inside this is the inside it's completely outside and i can visibly picturically and perfectically see that this is not touching the line even you guys will see that as well because it's pretty clear okay so because this little guy here this little candle has fulfilled our simple two rules rule number one it must be completely outside the in fact there's only one rule completely outside the box which means none part of the candle must touch the box so that is the rule simple rule the candle must not touch the box okay so which candle does not touch the box here the first candle that does not touch the box is this candle here and that is where we call it our trigger candle and that is where we are going to start trading from so because we are broken into a bright bearish uh, region so we are going to sell when you break below the line you sell when you break above the line you will buy okay so now let's let me pick this two it's a line the horizontal line to show me where i am going to buy from so remember you are going to buy you sorry i'm going to sell from you're going to sell at the close of the candle you will let the trigger candle close then you will go into the sell trade okay so you go into the sell trade let me make this one uh lighter so we can differentiate between the breakout and the and the normal uh line so this is where you sold from okay I know my guys now, all my uh, all the regulars now they might be bored to death and say, oh, it's two hour. We know this already. Bear with me, all right? <laughs> okay, so we know that this one is where we entered from. 
in trading you have two prices you need to put in mind when you trade the first one is what is your stop loss and the second what is your take profit target so let's define those two levels so when you sell from here the opposite line the higher line is your stop loss okay is the stop loss the opposite line that is the highest of the hour is your stop loss what you are saying is if i the the price decided or the market decided to go bearish and then they start turning back again and then when they get here they negate whatever the decision that was made earlier to go bearish from here we assume now that they want to go bullish then we don't want to take part anymore we are out of that trade so that's why we set our stop loss here so the question, second question is where is our take profit target it's very simple that is the simplest part is the size of this box so you measure the size of the box from the, the difference between the high and the low uh this one is this very small one today uh my guys knows that i don't like small boxes this is about nine pips today it's about nine pips today all right so that's nine pips okay that's your take profit one we call it tp1 okay reason is when you're making profit you want to stay in the game as long as possible so we call one tp1 that is your first take profit target and we call another one TP2, your second take profit target. And you can go on if to TP3, TP4, TP5, depending. You are not going to lose anything by doing that. Okay, let me let me tell you why. Um, so this is your trade. Okay, so this is your TP1. This is your take profit one, which we believe was uh, we we say nine pips. Okay, so let's say this is uh, let's say this is your tp1 this is your target one let's say this is the size of the box right this is your tp1 then maybe this is your this is your tp2 let me zoom out okay uh i think this one is bigger okay let's say tp2 uh let's say we have another tp3 if you want tp3 here so what you see is that today you will eat your tp1 Immediately you hit your TP1, you move your stop loss to break even. Then you hit your TP2, then you move your stop loss to TP1. That's what is called trailing stop. This is automatic, uh, you know, manually trailing your position by the size of the box. The reason why you're doing that is you are giving your trade plenty of room to breathe. You don't want it to be too close you don't want it to be too close so that it doesn't take you out look because we give it so much space there was a reverser here okay there was a reverser but your 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 price is still high so it didn't touch it and then it gave you tp tp2 and uh it never quite make it to tp3 this is tp3 here it never quite make it to tp3 so when you hit TP1, you move your stop loss to break even. When you hit TP2, you move your stop loss to TP1. Okay? So now you've hit TP2 and you didn't go to TP3. So you have bank, at least you have bank a profit. You have bank two profit already. TP1, TP3. Uh, sorry, TP1, TP2. And when the price reverse, where, where did it take you out? It take you out at TP1. So at, at TP1. So you have three trades. One hit TP1. The second trade hit TP2. And the third trade was came out at TP1. So today you have you have taken 9 plus 18 plus 9 pips. So this is how to milk the market. You know, when you are when you are uh, on a roll, you know they said uh, make the hay while the sun is shiny make hay while the sun is shining so when you have opportunity try to milk it as much as you can because that opportunity might not be there tomorrow it might come again it will come again but take your chance okay so 
the simple way to, to go about this is to have two trades. If you are targeting TP1 and TP2, have two trades. Let's say you wanted to go for a standard lot. So what you do is you have to do 0.5, 0.5, two trades. Or let's say you are planning to do uh, two micro lots. Instead of going for 0.02, you split into two trades, 0 0.01, 0 0.01. The first trade, 0 0.01, we have a TP target of TP1. The second trade, 0 0.01, we have a TP target of 0. Point, uh, of a TP2. Excellent, good people. I hope you understand. New people, I did it for you, right? I think we need to thank all our veterans for bearing with us, giving us the time to explain this. So thank you so much for bearing with us. So now we're going to change our gear. Right. We're going to go on a high speed. Who's got Ferrari? Yeah. Anybody who's got Ferrari in, on this uh, channel? <laughs> or Lambo. Anybody with a Lamborghini or Ferrari? Yeah. Ah, uh, see, let's see, let's what's good. Let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, um, who is this? Uh, yes, so let's read. Hello from Kenya, Ilut. Ah, uh, Madu, welcome, Mika. Oh, how do you put the indicator on the chat? You downloaded it via the email just sent to me, but I don't know how to insert it. Okay, all right, so don't worry, uh, Mika. Uh, we're going to help you quick. All right. And so what I'm going to do is I am going to pretend. Let me see. Uh, where is my... Let me see if I can do some magic here. Uh, Explorer. Okay. Anyway, so what you do is this, uh, Micah. So the session indicator I sent to you you download it all right when you download it into your uh, download folder then you go and copy it you copy it from there and then you come to your mt4 you do this you say file you say open data folder data folder data folder is where all your indicators all your expert advisors all your um, other files preset files um mql file all of them libraries everything is stored there so you click there it opens up for you okay so let me show you it opens up for you like that sorry i'm blocking the chat so you go to the folder called mql4 this folder contains all the other folders okay so that is what is important now. Next time I can talk to you about templates and not the rest. Okay. So because that's not the lecture for today. So for the indicators, you go to the folder called indicators, right? You open up indicators. These are all the indicators that are on my platform right now. So you just right click. Remember that you have copied from your download folder because that is where it will be saved. When you save it, you copy it. Then you just say, Control paste because I haven't copied anything. My paste is not highlighted, but if you have copied something, it will be highlighted. You say paste. Once you paste, you can then close this guy off. I say, hey, bye bye. Thank you very much. See you next time. Okay. So now you've pasted. So it's in MetaTrader 4. But unfortunately, for now, MetaTrader 4 is not aware of that file yet. Even though you have put it there. You need to tell MetaTrader that, hey, hello, MT4, Mr. MT4. Hello, 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 Mr. MT4. I've got you a new indicator. Do you want to see it, right? Yeah, 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 I'd like to see it. Okay, so what you do is that you remind MT4 that you, you've put a file there for it. So there are two ways to do it. First method is you shut down MT4 completely. You say file, exit, right? So when you exit and you open again, then it will say, oh, yeah, there's a new file. So it will get the new file automatically. Well, that's a long process because you may have something going on. The other other way to do it is you, you, you view, let's say you go to navigator, you say view navigator. So these are all the currently 
all the indicators I've got. So you can right click any of the indicator anywhere and say refresh. So when you say refresh, it will refresh and then it you you will remind you will remind it of your you will remind it of the indicator that you have just added to the platform. Now it will refresh. So that indicator will now become available. So sessions, you now go to session and you now see the sessions here. Okay. And you can drop it, you can drag it and drop it. And then you can follow all those things that we have done previously. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, I think, uh, I hope you understand it now. Uh, Micah, that's for you, Micah. That is for you, Micah. <laughs> All right. Any question? Any question? Any question? Ah, right, 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 right. M and M Holdings. Hey, M and M. What business are you in? Are you are you? Oh, Inc. You must be from the U.S., right? <laughs> All right. No worries. No worries. No worries, Micah. You're welcome. Ah, uh, yes. Thank you so much, Felix. No worries, Nabil. Thank you, Johannes. Okay. Flanders, good. Oh, Ferrari. All right. Oh, Flanders, have you got one? You got Ferrari. That's good. <laughs> I've got Lambo. <laughs> I've got Lambo Spider. <laughs> okay. Isaac is from Ghana. Good to see you, Isaac. Oh, come on. Is this? <laughs> hey, sorry, Dad. So Lamborghini, okay, sir. All right, uh, on YouTube channel at the moment. So, um, Luna, okay, great, 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 great. I, 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 I imagine you found something that you like there, Robert. Your dream will come true. Oh, I, I, I believe so. I believe so. I believe so. All right. Any question? Anybody? Any question? How do I get the indicator? Oh, Prince. Uh, the indicator, uh, you just pop your email address here. That's one method. Second method is to get to the Telegram channel right away. Have you been to the Telegram channel? You have not. Click the Telegram channel right away. The indicator is there waiting for you. That is the easiest way. In fact, it will reduce my workload because if you put your email here, I'll have to be sending it to your email. And also you'll be exposing your email to some fraudsters. In fact, what I'm going to do very soon is all the emails probably that uh, that is exposed on YouTube, you know, I'm going to make sure that people don't post their email anymore. I've been finding a way to do that for some time. So uh, that you don't post your email address. I'm sure, you know, everybody's, you know, is security conscious. When somebody sends you email that, ah, oh, they are from Make More 8 or they are from Dare, don't listen to them. I don't, I don't sell EA. I don't sell indicator. I don't sell strategy. I don't sell anything. I, everything I do here, I do it for free. Okay. So, uh, somebody might come to you and say, oh, I'm from Make More 8, uh, the indicator, some of the indicators that I, I give for free here, people are selling for $200. People are selling free indicators that I give on my channel. They are selling for $200. And I get email back from the user, some of the users saying, I just bought, him, uh, I just bought an indicator from you. I said, no, I never sold you any indicator. I said, oh, somebody pretended to be you. I said, look. I always carry a disclaimer on the email that you guys don't deal with anybody that call themselves make more eight because they might not be the genuine person. So most sure who you are dealing with. Okay. Excellent. So guys, what do you want to see now? The floor is open. The floor has just been declared open, open floor. What do you want to see? <laughs> What do you want to see? 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 Good people, good people. I'm sure you are clicking, you are joining the chat, the, the telegram. Let me see if you have not joined. I know 
if you have not joined i know people that have joined now so what happened at in telegram channel let me give you yay we are over 300 now ladies and gentlemen we are now officially over 300 on telegram channel excellent so every money on telegram channel what we do is um as the chairman and the chief executive of this organization <laughs> Which organization? There's no organization. It's not a joke. It's not a joke. It's a joke. It's a joke. Okay, okay. Uh, okay, maybe I'm the chief executive of YouTube then, right? <laughs> All right. So, um, in the morning uh, at 8 o'clock, that is UK time, uh, I will come on uh, the Telegram channel. I will post just one chart of GBP USD just to give everybody opportunity to set their um they are what is it called the box at the right time so if you are thinking you don't know where the box should be what time it should be what you need to do look at the chart i'm posting look at the candles where those candles start where the box start and where the box end and try to find exact candles on your chart it's not going to be difficult to see in fact you will see it right away because it's going to be something really 9 to 10 or 11 to 12 or 1 to 2, something like that. So once you identify it, that is it. You just make sure you put your box in the right place. Put the time in the right place. And once you've done it, once you don't need to do it again, it will remain like that. And you will not ask the question again, where is the box? Where is the box? Oh, read one. Good. You just joined the channel. I think you are the one that pushed us over 300. Because I can see the the telegram is growing by the minutes. Okay. And I can see a lot of comments already. Uh Omar is commenting. Olua Femi is commenting. Jay is commenting. Nabil is commenting. So please, guys, ladies and gentlemen, what I want us to do with the telegram channel is to help each other out. Okay, we know we have different level of traders here. So we have the people that have been trading this strategy for a while. I will see people that join for the first time. So I want you guys to, you know, collaborate, post your charts, you know. Uh, if you think you are not sure of what, whether it is cross or not crossing, post it. And uh, it's been a very good community. People have been helping each other out. In fact, we've seen a lot of people even creating indicators, creating EA, creating different things for us. So it's a very good environment, you know. So just make sure you keep to the rules because... You know, if there's no rules, everybody will do what they like. So there's a rule. So far, you keep to the rule. All shall be well. Okay, Kingsley, you want the Telegram link? Okay, there we go. There we go. Kingsley, you are going to push us to two, three, 400 today. <laughs> All right. Anybody wants to see anything else? Okay. Anything else? Nikkei. Oh, Flander and Mr. Nikkei. Miss. In fact, I'm going to change your name now to Mr. Nikkei. No, joking, 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 joking. All right, let's go and look at Nikkei. Ah, nickel, 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 nickel. All right, let's close this one so that we can have enough space to operate from. Nickel, nickel two, JP two two five, right? JP two two five. There we go. Okay, JP two two five. But for JP two two five, you know what? This is not the box we are looking for. Uh, uh nickel is um. It's a Japanese Japanese uh, stock market, so uh, we the, we change the box time to two to three. So this is a this this is a, this is just another a kind of another opportunity to trade something different. Our main strategy is nine to ten. So don't get it confused, okay? Don't get it confused. Our main strategy is nine to ten. However, somebody came up with a two to three for just jp225 this japanese yen 225 okay so and i say okay let's give it a try you know i'm 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 open to anything that is going to help people provided it's not going to harm them okay so right yes here we have the box here and then we have the box here okay we have the line here all right let me see what's going on all right so the, here we go all right so initially we are tipped into a sell trade, as you can see. 
Okay, we are tipping to a sell trade because this is out of the box. Ladies and gentlemen, that will happen sometimes. So when you see this, don't don't be don't be um disappointed or just close your chart and say, Hey, I'm going home today. I've lost one trade. I mean, tell me a trader who has never lost a trade. It does he exist? Tell me, does he exist? No. <laughs> I mean, if he exists, uh uh, Albert Einstein will be will be small compared to that person, you know. Even Warren Buffett, it, it lost it, it lost uh, how many billions does he lost uh, recently due to the coronavirus? I think it's it's one of the greatest greatest uh, investor in the world that ever uh, the world has ever known. He's losing money too, even though what he's losing is just a small compared to his uh, account size. But you know, we should all take lessons from that. There will be losses, so don't hide away from losses. <laughs> never, 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 never. So, so we took a loss here, right? We took a trade here. Sorry, we took a trade here, and uh, it stopped us out. But check that out. It said, "Ladies and gentlemen, this is another chance for you to do something about it." You know, somebody asked me, uh, "Will we be chasing the market because you lost and you are chasing the market?" There's a difference between following your rule and chasing the market. So some people, when they lost, they want to quickly make their money back and they start making rules on the fly. They start creating arbitrary rules. Say, oh, okay, I'm going to jump in now. Oh, I, I think it's going to go up. No, 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 I think it's going to go down. That is chasing the market. But if you went into this trade and you were stopped out, and you got another signal here telling you to go long. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, this is the signal here. Because you can see, that's the close of that candle. You can see this candle is completely out of the box. And it gives you a box size of... It gives you a box size of... Uh, what is this one? This is about 9.27. 9.27. So it says you are, your TP once is 927 Let's call it 950 to make, or let's call it 900 to make life easy for us. So your TP1 is 900, your TP2 is 1800, your TP3 is 2700. Okay, so let's see what we got from here. Let's see whether we got TP1, obviously. <laughs> TP1 is 900, so we got TP1 around here, that's 900. What about 1.8? 1.8? Yeah, we got 1.8, that's TP2. So we didn't quite manage TP3. But from TP1 and TP2, you have actually zero out your initial stop loss. You zero it out and you took some money home. That is how to measure a trader's success. A success is not measured by one trade that you take. A success is measured by the amalgamation, amalgamation combination of many trades over a specific period of time it could be the time could be one month the time could be one week but over time you will know whether you are successful or not with that trade excellent any more question oh revenge yeah 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 revenge that's the word that is the word revenge trading yes yeah. so we don't do revenge trading here we do I will follow our rules. So whatever the rules tells us, we shall do. Okay, thank you. Thank you for that. Who is that? Pra, pra, uh, Pharaoh Manzi. Is this your first time, Pharaoh Manzi? Because that name is very special. And George C. Paul, this is your first time, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing as well. Just wondering if there are... Uh, well, there's no EA for this yet. There's no EA. And the fact is that any EA that you want to use, uh, it needs to be shown that it has performed in the live market for at least one year. Uh, you can go to, uh, you can Google for EA all over the place. Go on, uh, on Google, search for breakout EA tonight on your phone or on your, on your tablet. Just Google for simple breakout email uh, EA. I I tell you have loads that will come out, loads and loads that will come out. If they are all making money, why would they be free? 
So think about it. Okay. So um, yes. Anybody want to say anything else? Nasdaq, Nasdaq, Nasdaq. Is that the US thirty? Yes, that's the US thirty. Nasdaq, US thirty, US thirty. Okay. Oh, great. Well, you see what it looks great. Yeah, it looks great. Uh, I'm I'm not doubting that it's great. However, I think you first of all take one one. Uh, you first of all take one uh, stop loss. You first of all take one stop loss, I guess. So let me expand it. Okay. Actually, you know what? In this scenario, let me explain to people that are joining us for the first time. When you enter a trade like this one, okay, you got into a trade. Let me let me tell you where you got into trade. You got into trade here. You got into trade here. Okay, this is where you got into your trade sell, and you were able to make some pips from here. You're able to make at least uh, on this occasion, uh, this is called a uh, 122, maybe it's equivalent to like uh, 13 pips, whatever. Okay, let's just say equivalent to 13 pips. So you made 13 pips. I've said it many times when I make 13 pips, I make sure I never go back to negative. The worst case scenario is that I'm going to go home with what? Break even. Okay. I'm going to go home, break even. Okay. So here you go home, break even here. And then you have, you, you got another chance here to break out. This is a breakout. So this is another trade. Okay. And then that trade will, will give you plenty of meat to chew, you know, plenty. So we said here it was a uh, 13 piece. Let me do it again yeah no we say it was a 20 let's say let's call it 20 no no let's call it what uh 94 no no sorry that's 24 let's call it 24 pips just for argument's sake so 24 pips how many do you have do you have up to 24 yes yeah, so you have 20 something there and 40 something there. so you have your tp1 and tp2 ladies and gentlemen who's this Ah, offense. Okay, I'm going to answer your offense because you are first timer. So that's good. I like to listen to people that really want to learn. So if you really want to learn, you are welcome to this channel and you are also welcome to the Telegram group. Please help each other out. Let's learn it the, the right way. There, is, there are always different ways to learn. So let's try and learn it the right way. No shortcuts, no shortcuts. Because the shortcut will catch up with us later on. Okay, so US hundred. Oh no no, UK hundred. You say yeah. Let me check. Oh it's oh all right, all right. it's US hundred. Okay 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 okay. So let's check US hundred then. Let's check US hundred. Okay now US thirty. Okay. Ah uh, mark. Uh, where is it? Oh, sorry about that. Uh, US hundred. Where are you? US Mister US hundred. US hundred. On red, oh, yeah, it's okay here. I think it's here. US 500, U UK 100, US 500. Oh, okay, you say US tech, they call it US tech or US 30, either of the two. And then you have UK 100. Okay, anybody want to see anything else? Oh, talks, Bemi Jeremiah, is that your first time? Two to three for this. Uh yeah, two to three just for the two to three is just for the nickel. If you want to try it out, nickel, uh JP225. You use two to three. Actually, Asian session. That's more like Asian session. When Asian market open, you use that for it. But uh, our main strategy, which we discuss actually over over the telegram channel, we use eight to nine in the morning. But I mean, you are free, man. You are everybody is free to experiment, and that's what that channel is all about: Exper experimenting, learning, 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 learning. You don't get to become uh, an expert in a profession overnight. It takes time. It takes work. It takes effort. It takes dedication. It takes a lot of practice and practice and practice. Okay, oh man. What is the best position to measure the box size for pips depending on the angle of indication 
the size might be different. Yes, the, the size might be different. So for each for each uh for each box, the size is different. So for example, this box, if you look at this box, because we have changed it to two and three, that's why it's here now. This size of this one is only uh, six pips. Then let's say you do USD chef, the size will be different. Okay, USD chef, this price that if the size might be this one is only four pips. Ah, did anybody is noticing something? The number, the size of the box is small now. Why? If somebody, if anyone rem re remember what I said about the the three types of session we have, okay, the different sessions we have. We have the US session, the European session, and then we have the Asian session. Now the Asian session is the lowest uh, with volume, the lowest volume, and is a little bit sluggish because all the actions are in the US and Europe. Remember when we were dealing with. Uh, hours of 7 and 8 GMT earlier, we were getting 23 pips, uh, 14 pips, box size. Look at what we are getting now. We are getting three, uh, 4 pips, 6 pips, box size. So, uh, when you are dealing with currency, uh, uh, and uh, this box size will be become very small if you are using 2 to 3. All right, uh, just naked three three five generated almost three thousand pips in three weeks. <laughs> fantastico, that's fantastico. Any questions from anybody? Any questions from anybody? If you have not joined the Telegram channel, make sure you join now, 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 now. Live trading will start tomorrow morning, 8 o'clock. That is the Telegram channel. If you have not joined, click it right away. Because we are going to start live trading tomorrow. I'm going to post my chart early in the morning, 8 o'clock. Check your chart. Make sure it is uh, exactly what it, sh it should be. And um, try and see different peers that uh, can match, that you can get a breakout from. Okay? Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it's nice to see you here today. I believe uh, it's been wonderful. Thank you, Adekunle. Thank you, Kalad. It's been great to see you all. And then, party is over here. <laughs> the shop is closing in the next five seconds. <laughs> the shop is closing in the next five seconds. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's meet, um, let's converge back in the auditorium, which is called the Telegram Auditorium, and then the business can continue. So, thank you so much, all the veterans that is in the house, and the upcoming veterans that are coming very soon, I know you all, and the young elites that are just joining the squad. This is the captain speaking here, and I will talk to you soon. So thank you so much. It's Dari. <laughs> <laughs>